Why do LED lamps burn out after a short period of time? There are two factors that shorten the life of these LED lamps. The first factor is heat. The second factor is the overvoltage in the circuit. To solve the heat problem, we can make some small holes in the lamp bulb. These holes should not be big because insects can enter the lamp. What should we do for overvoltage? Most of the circuit of such lamps is switching. A switching IC and a MOSFET are used for switching. But in some circuits, there is no MOSFET and the IC contain an internal MOSFET, which I showed you an example in the previous video. What is important, here is the current measurement by the IC, which is done with the help of the shunt resistance. So, if we can change the shunt resistance value, actually we have changed the feedback value. This change causes the IC to perform switching according to the received feedback and reduce the output voltage of the circuit. As I said before, the most important reason for LED to burn is the overvoltage in the circuit. The LEDs are in series and parallel, and their total voltage is equal to the voltage in the circuit. But changing the output voltage causes more voltage to reach the LED and as a result, the LEDs get damaged. Now, how to do this? We find the shunt resistance in the circuit. This resistor is connected in series to the source pin of the MOSFET. In most circuits, several resistors are placed in parallel to allow better current to flow. In this circuit, there are three resistors in parallel that are connected to the source pin of the MOSFET. We need to remove the resistor and replace them with a larger resistor to reduce the output voltage of the circuit. Of course, the brightness of the lamp is reduced by about 5%, but it does not have a big effect on the brightness of the lamp. This makes LEDs work for many years. Before doing this, we must change the burn or weakened LED. In this circuit, I remove two shunt resistors. The value of this resistance is 1.5 Ohm. Instead of these two resistors, I put a 5.6 Ohm resistor. The type of dip or SMD does not matter. The wattage of the resistor has no effect on the circuit's operation. Before doing this, I first turn on the circuit and measure the output voltage. Never turn on the circuit without connecting the LEDs because the output voltage will be too high and the capacitors will explode. I turn on the circuit and measure the output. The output voltage is about 42 volt. I will replace the resistors. So that the video time is not long, I increase the speed of the video. Well, I replace the resistors. I turn on the circuit. I measure the output voltage. The voltage is about 37 volt and the lamp light is very good. This lamp will work well for many years. Thank you for liking the video and thank you for watching.